to spell out mega teeth, one of the most common questions I'm asked is about restored teeth. People will email me and say, I'm looking at such and such a tooth on your website. Is there any restoration done or is it restored? And so I'm going to talk a little bit about restoration and then talk about the teeth that I have on the site. Um, the, the first kind of restoration that can be done is to polish a tooth. And a lot of people uh, really like polished teeth. They're very attractive. This is a polished tooth and it shows it gets it's very shiny. The blade's really shiny. And a lot of people like polished teeth and so I get a lot of requests for you know certain size polished tooth. Um, I do carry some polished teeth and they're always clearly marked on the website. This is a polished tooth and I talk about how it's been ground and polished. Why would I polish a tooth? A lot of people ask what, what teeth do you polish or why would you polish them? Usually you just polish a tooth that has some damage done to it like this tooth here. You can see the enamel on this tooth is peeled. It's peeled at the tip and it's peeled all along here. It has a lot of enamel peel and it's a nice tooth. It's a, a very large tooth, but if someone wants a really attractive tooth, this might not be what they're looking for. So we can actually polish this tooth so it'll be as smooth and shiny looking as this tooth. And basically what we use is a diamond polisher and we polish all of that enamel so that it becomes very smooth with a number of different wheels that go to over 3,000 grit. Uh, and then we then I use some polish on it. Normal teeth are not polished. When I sell a tooth that I don't list as a polished tooth, it's not polished. There's no polish on it. I haven't polished it. I've just cleaned it really well. So I do have some polished teeth on the website. And again, I'll always tell that it's a polished tooth. That is one type of restored tooth. Another type of restored tooth is where the tooth has some damage to it. It could be damaged to the root or it could be damaged to the blade. And so like this tooth here, it's a pretty nice tooth, but the root's damaged. It's got a little chip here and a little and a, and a chip over here. Uh, this type of restoration is where you have a tooth that was broken and someone that's very talented uh, can restore a tooth back to its original state or to look like its original state. This is a tooth that's been restored. Okay, You can't really tell where it's been restored. And, but it's a tooth that I found diving in North Carolina. It was 6.85 inches long and I knew that with restoration it would end up being over seven inches. So I sent it to a friend of mine, Maddie, at Maddie's Megs and he restored the tooth for me. So you can see you can take a tooth that has some significant damage and restore it. The only thing to know is restored teeth are nice because they look nice but they don't really have the value to a collector that a, an unrestored tooth would have. A tooth restored like this would be worth more than it was like this, but it wouldn't be more th worth more than a similarly looking tooth. You know, if I had two teeth that looked like this, one was restored and one wasn't, the unrestored tooth would be worth a lot more money because it was all natural. So you really have to be careful. And the only way you can tell, you can look at this tooth for a long time and not tell it was restored. Uh, the only way you can tell if you have a restored tooth is to get acetone, which is basically paint thinner, and dip the tooth in the acetone. What'll happen is all the paint, all the glue will deteriorate and you'll lose the aesthetically pleasing tooth. That's the easiest way to tell. Um, and I don't recommend that because once you do, you've lost your tooth. But sometimes people will buy a tooth from someone and then they'll come to me and send me a picture and say, is this tooth restored? Well, I have no way of telling. I, you know, it's hard to tell even when you look at it if it's restored. If I were to look at this tooth, I would tell you it was unrestored, uh, just looking at it because Maddie did such a great job on it. Another time that people request polished teeth from me are the necklaces. Uh, people that want jewelry want really shiny and attractive, uh, you know, teeth, something that really stands out. So a lot of uh, my necklace teeth I polish mainly just so that they look really nice and, and really stand out when someone wears them. So that that's something that's requested quite a bit. But just by looking at a tooth, you're not going to be able to tell. Just by looking at a photo, you definitely can't tell. The best way to tell, you know, to make sure you're getting a tooth that's not restored is to get it from a trusted source, someone that you know uh, doesn't sell these type of restored teeth. I find my own teeth, so I don't bother restoring any of them. Other than polishing a few teeth, which like I said, I clearly mark on the website, 
I do not restore roots. I do not restore tip. I don't restore enamel, anything like that. So any tooth on my website uh, will have no restoration like that. If I ever did sell one, I would clearly mark it, but I don't sell restored teeth. I don't restore teeth. Um, and so that kind of gives you a little bit on uh, what to look for in restored teeth. 